Hey guys, Jarek here, gonna be doing some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This time we're playing some Team Deathmatch on the map Raid, and I'm going back to the Hammer, the Scar LMG. And, uh, I really do like this LMG. This has gotta be my favorite LMG in the game. So here's my setup. I'm using the primary gunfighter perk, quick draw handle, grip, and a target finder, and there's all my perks and all that stuff. So this gun, I don't know what it is, what it is about it, but it's just very, very easy for me to use. I can run around and basically treat it like it's in, like it's an assault rifle. It doesn't feel much slower than the other things, even without the attachments. Uh, it feels like it's the fastest LMG out of all of them. But with that said, is it the best LMG out of all of them? No, there really isn't a best LMG. All the LMGs, although they have very subtle differences, they're all equal. Uh, you can pretty much use any of them. None of them are going to have a leg up on the other LMGs, despite what people say. And that always amuses me when people get get into the argument. <coughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to cough. When people get into the argument of what is the best gun in the game. But if a company does a game right, then there is no best gun in the game. They're all going to be equal to each other, at least within their own respective category. Side note, try to ignore the stuff in the background. My roommate decided now would be a perfect time to take a shower as soon as I started doing this voiceover, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but yeah, it amuses me when people get into the argument of what's the best assault rifle in the game, or what's the best SMG in the game, or what's the best gun in the game in general. If you're talking about a franchise like, say, Infinity Ward Call of Duty, like how Modern Warfare 3 has some very obvious guns that are better than other ones because the balancing in that game is horrible and the game overall is shit, then yes, you might have an argument. But when a company does this right, like, say, Treyarch, for the most part, usually does, and if they do mess that up, they usually patch it and solve the issue, there really isn't going to be a best gun in the game. All of the SMGs are going to be equal to each other. One may shoot slower but have a faster, or not not faster, one may shoot a little bit slower rate of fire-wise, but be stronger. One may have a higher rate of fire but be a little bit weaker than the other one. One may give you a little bit more of a movement bonus than the other one, uh, but the other one may have a little bit more range. So, you know, if you do this correctly, you can have some amazing balancing in the game. Uh, another really good example of that is definitely Rainbow Six Vegas 2. All of the SMGs completely balanced in with each other. All the assault rifles, it doesn't matter what you're using. People may complain about the FAMAS and say it's overpowered, but really, it's not. It's not overpowered, it's just the easiest to use. <coughs> Which I'm, I'm seeing to be a common trend in shooters is that the FAMAS is going to be a seen as an overpowered gun. When in all reality, it's just a fast rate of fire gun using a fairly small bullet that doesn't have a lot of recoil. In Battlefield, this equated to it being somewhat overpowered, and then they patched it and made it fucking useless almost. Um, in Vegas 2, it just made it be a very, very easy gun to use instead of, say, uh, just being overpowered or anything. It just became an easy gun to use. In Black Ops 1, same exact thing. And I just have to say, the AUG is just as good as the FAMAS. If not a little bit better, although I'm not going to say that, I think they were balanced in pretty evenly. But people just bitched about it less. It, it was the equivalent to the AUG. Now they did patch it a little bit later, and I'm not really against the patch, but it was a very, very tiny difference they made. All they did is add a little bit more recoil to make it about the equivalent of the AUG. Um, See, so yeah, that FAMAS wasn't really overpowered. It was just a good all-round gun that was super, super easy to use. See, so yeah, I'm going on a little bit of a run in this game, uh, which I did pretty much the whole game. I'm <coughs> sorry if I keep coughing. I don't know what it is, but I got a cough, and I'm not even sick. I'm just coughing. There's no phlegm. There's there's nothing. It's just coughing. It's incredibly frustrating. But, um, going on a little bit of a run. Got a Dragon Fire Stealth Chopper. Just need one more kill. Just one to get my high skill streak, which is an Escort Drone. And, um, I'm working on going for a uh, flawless game. So let's go ahead and see if I do that. Although, uh, actually, fuck that, I got a spoiler, I didn't get a flawless game, and, uh, it's kind of frustrating the way I died, but I guess you'll, you'll wait and see. And hey, look, look how much ammo I have left. Hey, there we go, completely run out of ammo on the very last kill I needed to get all my kill streaks. So let me go ahead and throw everything out, got an escort drone, a stealth chopper, and a dragon fire. Whoa, hello, thank you, escort drone, fucking saved my ass. And let me go ahead and throw this out. Now, I couldn't really find a whole bunch of people when I was using this Dragonfire. I don't know what it was this game. In general, I usually can't find a whole lot of people on this map, but I usually kind of like to circle the outsides of the map instead of run into the uh, massive clusterfuck in the middle. I usually try to avoid that for the most part. Uh, you can get a lot more kills without dying if you kind of 
go around the outsides because people are so focused on getting inside and getting to where they died and killing that person that killed them that they don't notice anyone outside of where they died. Uh, I don't know what that guy was doing. So yeah, there's a there's a hint. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I really can't control that. There's a hint. If you want to stay alive a little bit longer on this map, run around the outsides, not in the middle of buildings, and you'll definitely be able to survive a much longer time. And yeah, as you can see, I'm not really finding anyone, and I did eventually just kind of fly through the middle and still not seeing a single person. Hmm. <laughs> That's a little bit strange. And oh, there goes my dragon fire. I think as soon as I found someone, too. But yeah, now I have no ammo. And this is a little bit of a problem, you could say, for numerous reasons. One, I have no fucking ammo. That's a big enough reason on its own. Uh, and two, I have not died yet. So, I was kind of going for that, you know, I'm going to go knife someone, pick up their gun, and uh, hopefully get a flawless game, because, you know, that always feels good, and I haven't gotten a flawless game in Black Ops 2 as of yet, which is kind of, a, kind of amazing when I stop and think about it. I've played Black Ops 2 a decent amount, and I haven't gotten a flawless. I guess that kind of makes sense. Black Ops 2 is a lot faster paced than Black Ops 1 was, so it must be easier to get a flawless in Black Ops 1 if you actually stop and think about it instead of spamming like crazy. So yeah, trying to find someone, not really having- Oh, there's someone else, and oh, fucking got knifed. That is frustrating, and I wouldn't have cared if I got shot, because I'm running out of the knife. There's logic. I got shot, but no, I got fucking knifed. I could have easily just knifed him, and uh, I don't know if he had any guns. That's not- that's not, a uh, what ended up happening. <coughs> Either way, that was the only death I got the whole fucking game. It's always frustrating to only die once the whole game, because that's one death you- could have had less. You, that's that's one death compared to zero deaths. It feels a lot more satisfying to go, say, 28 and zero than to go 28 and one. I don't know, it's just something that could have been a perfect game or near perfect. Nope. <laughs> Fuck that shit. We're gonna ruin your game. Overall, it's, it's still a pretty good game though. I can't really complain too much about it. Uh, the only thing I can really say is go ahead and try this LMG out if you haven't unlocked. It's the last one you unlock. Uh, I would... <laughs> Someone just jumped off the side of the map. <laughs> oh wow, I don't think I noticed that when I was playing. I mean, I looked at it, but I, thought I think I just thought he kind of disappeared, or someone else killed him before he jumped. One of the two. But yeah, as I was trying to say, if you haven't tried this gun, do, it so, do so. Go ahead and try it. This is uh, probably the easiest to use LMG. Like I said before, it's definitely not the best LMG. Uh, none of them are better than each other. I I'm going to reiterate that. But it's definitely the easiest to use. And, oh, look. Raptor is being the door for me. And, oh, he died. <laughs> and, hey, I got the last kill. Only fitting that I got the last kill with uh, all the kill streaks and shit I was calling in and the lack of dying for the most part. So, last kill going to be a uh, pretty bad aiming because this is how you aim in Call of Duty. You start shooting and then you aim. That's just how you do it. And I went 25 or 26 and 1. Kind of hard to see through the small... Thing. I'm pretty sure it's 25 and 1. So there's another video of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Again, freaking roommate having horrible timing with taking a shower, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, and see you later.